Hi everyone, Harrison here from LED Torch Shop, here with a new torch from Immolent called the RS50, maximum of 20,000 lumens, over a kilometer in throw. Very similar design to a previous torch they've got is the MS08, which is more of a floody version of this light. Uh, this one's more designed for throw, so if you wanna go check that video out, we'll put a link up here. But for now, let's get into the RS50. Da -da -da -da. So, RS50 comes in a nice box like this, great packaging from Immolent. Uh, when you open it up though, it does come with a few handy hints. So that big yellow sticker there, you want to read that because that shows you how to unlock your torch, a few things to do is to sort of get your torch ready to go. First of all, it comes with a couple spare o-rings, a spare screw, and I'll get into why that is uh, handy to have soon and two charging cables. So they're that magnetic charging cable that Imlon have on a lot of their torches. So they give you two, and again, we'll get into why you need the two. And your user manual, which is definitely worth a read. There are some interesting things going on here from light output to indication of battery and everything like that. So definitely worth a read through that. So you also get a top holster as well. Not a full holster because it is quite a big light, uh, but it, yeah, it does fit quite well in there. It's got a nice sturdy, hook on the back and also a belt loop and a sort of a molly sort of a molly compatible there with that velcro so pretty sturdy nylon holster from Immolent which is great I mean it is a big light so you probably want to put it in a holster uh, opposed from just rolling around a bag or a car or something like that so it's nice to know they give you a sort of a really sturdy one and finally the torch so obviously comes with a little cover on there and there it is the RS50 really really nice looking light so as you can see it is just all smooth reflectors in there it's running off eight Cree XHP 50.2 LEDs uh, so they are really really high in output so you get maximum of 20,000 lumens out of this thing but because of the smooth reflector in there uh, it's just, yeah, it's really, really beautiful. So you're going to get a lot of throw out of these. Um, I found it did have a quite a decent hotspot for such a sort of sort of a flat plane uh, sort of torch with, um, doesn't look like they're angled in drastically or anything like that. So yeah, out at distance, you not only get a huge amount of spread, uh, but yeah, it does concentrate it enough to know where that hotspot is. Uh, yeah, which is really, really lovely. So it's running off three 4,000 milliamp 21700 batteries. Uh, I'll get into that battery cavity uh, shortly, but it's nice to know sometimes with a lot of these big torches, they come with their inbuilt battery, which is great. I mean, if you uh, sort of didn't really uh, want to change batteries out or have the option there, um, it's great to know that it's just one big battery, but I like the option of having to, well, being able to sort of take those batteries out, replace them when you've sort of depleted them or end of life because you know that Imbolent torches are well built so you know they're probably going to outlast the battery life anyway so yeah it's great to know that Imbolent have sort of thought about that you can replace the batteries and yeah keep your torch going for years and years so good job Imbolent. Aerospace grade aluminium across the board like the MS08 it's got this uh, sort of XO case here with an inbuilt fan so you can either run it with that or without it. I definitely recommend sort of running it with it, especially on those medium to high modes. Uh, the torch does get quite warm. It was a warm night when I sort of um, filmed it a little bit, but even on not a warm night, I think uh, this thing is gonna get quite, quite hot. Maximum distance, you're looking at about 1,160 meters. So over a kilometer, it's sort of claiming. Uh, sort of had it out about that five, 600 meter mark. And yeah, it lights up a whole tree line, massive trees. So, I mean, it does do it definitely a really good job uh, at that but yeah I'm not I didn't test it sort of out of that kilometer distance but there's no doubt it would pick up on reflection and everything like that a couple other sort of standard waterproof rating so it's got IPX 6.8 rated so it's submersible to two meters it's also one meter impact resistant uh, which I think would be really um, pretty accurate with the XO case I mean um, yeah it's going to be able to take a beating I reckon for sure Couple other things, it's got instant turbo mode, which is great. So you can do it from the off position or any other light output throughout the whole torch. Um, yeah, so 
straight on, off, and then or double click for that instant turbo. Got a strobe mode as well, uh, which is handy too. But just getting into the nuts and bolts of it, um, comes with those two charging cables because one's going to charge the torch itself. So the three 21700 batteries that are included and in the torch, that one's gonna charge that. The other charging cable is going to charge your fan or your case fan. So like the MSO8, it's just a click on the back there. You get your little green light to show it's on and you might be able to hear that. I'll just hold it near the microphone and then one click off. So really simple on the case. It doesn't have different modes or anything. It's just an on off. You don't have to sort of charge them both at the same time. You can charge, you can, you only have to really carry one of these if you really want. Um, it's just nice they give you two uh, if you wanted to charge them both at the same time. To take the case off though, it's just this screw up the top here. So again, Imlin have just really thought of a lot of different things. They've given you an extra screw because there's no doubt um, you might lose it. So it's nice to know that they've uh, given you an extra one. So definitely keep it handy just in case you do lose it. it. Comes off as simple as that. The only way to get to the batteries is when you take the actual case off as well. So you can't actually unscrew the torch or anything like that while it's in the case. And then you've got your sort of three 21700s here. Torch will run fine without the case on it. I just like keeping the case on it. Not only do I think it really looks cool and adds a bit of like sort of that cybery sci-fi look to the torch, I find it comfier in the hand as well. And you know, you've just got that added protection of if you accidentally drop it or something like that. But you can definitely take it off if it's sort of not for you. But if you are um, wanting to sort of keep your torch cool, long jeopardy and all that, uh, definitely worth keeping it on. The Torch itself, yeah, really well made. Um, you've got your battery indicator on the side here. Like I said, the smooth reflector in there, they're not crazy deep set. It's not uh, a massive head on the torch or anything like that. And um, they're really, really deep set or anything. They are deep enough to really give some good throw out of them. It was really nice to use sort of out of distance, uh, especially on that lo low to medium. Um, yeah, it's really set quite high. so. Those low to medium modes, it just does a really good job. Getting into sort of outputs and run times though, like I said, you got that instant turbo mode from off or any other function in there by a quick double tap, but the rest of the torch really easy to function. It's just the hold down sort of method as a lot of torches are, a lot of imulents are. On any mode you're on, you just hold it down, it sort of cycles up and then it'll just drop back down to that low mode. So low is going to give you 300 lumens, which is huge. I mean, this is not your sort of moonlight mode, your five lumens, your one lumen sort of torch. It's a big, really nice thrower, so they haven't kind of um, given you that moonlight mode or that really small mode, um, output mode, which is absolutely fine. I mean, you're going to use this in a wide open space. You don't necessarily want to use it in your house at one lumen. So that's gonna give you about 30 hours runtime. Really, really nice to see. I mean, it definitely lights up, easy enough to walk around with. 300 lumens is, yeah, huge output. Jump up to a medium low, gives you 600 lumens, uh, and that's gonna give you about seven and a half hours runtime. Um, that will be dependent on sort of if you do change the batteries in there on high milliamp ones. This is off those three 21700s, 4000 milliamps each. Medium one is 1800 lumens. So now you're starting to jump up on really lighting up some trees and lighting up some big spaces. You're gonna get about two hours, two and a half hours runtime. Medium two, that 3500 lumens, you're going to get about one hour and a half of runtime. Then you jump up to your high mode, which is 6,500 lumens, and that's gonna give you about an hour's runtime, and that is super impressive. Yeah, it's just going to light up quite a long distance, and yeah, it actually, that's sort of the high to medium modes is where you sort of see that really nice sort of hot spot beam. They're sort of, it's rated around over 300,000 candela, so it does actually have a hot spot, uh, but yeah, it's got some great spread out at distance. And then a quick double tap to that 20,000 lumens on your turbo mode, which is really noticeable from 6,500 to 20,000. Yeah, it's quite impressive. And that's gonna give you about a minute's run time. They're sort of gonna drop back down uh, because of the heat and battery voltage and everything like that. Back down to your high mode, which is, or you, yeah, your high mode, which is your 6,500, which is more than bright enough. Um, absolutely. Really, really impressive light from Imolent. Yeah, got their charging ports, uh, but it's nice to know, I mean, if you like taking your batteries out of your torch or you like charging them externally and everything like that, that option's there as well. You just have to take the uh, XO case off, 
to sort of get in there. They've sort of come out with some really cool torches of late, the MS-08 and the, now the RS-50 um, being a thrower of that version. So if you're not sort of in the need of a crazy floody torch, um, but you really want sort of the same look or same type of torch, um, yeah, the RS-50 is definitely one to keep your eye out for. I'm loving the design of sort of this XO case. Simply fits in, really easy to take on and off, um, which is also nice. You don't want a battle of like sort of undoing screws with special tools and not being able to quickly whip it off if you've got some spare batteries or something like that that you want to whip in. Um, yeah, really easy to take on and off. And again, it's not imperative the torch, so you don't have to have it on um, if you're sort of using it for on the low modes or sort of short periods of time. Imolent, great torch, I reckon. Um, yeah, it's going to be around for years and years, so definitely worth going to check it, check it out. Also, again, that MS-08, so if you're after something a bit higher in output or a bit floodier, that's going to be a great option for you as well. Thanks for watching this one. Feel free to like, subscribe. Let us know which one is your favorite. Is it the RS-50 because you like the throw or is it the MS-08 because you want something a bit more floody? But yeah, let me know what you think. Again, do you like the case, not like the case? I really like it. I think it's gonna make your torch last longer, uh, just having a bit of protection. Um, but yeah, let us know what you think and catch you on the next one.